bits me and he hurts me I keep telling myself I love him, he'll change And this is just a phase It keeps happening and I lack the courage to walk away Cause I'm scared Good morning. Babe, I just said good morning. And what is good about the morning? What am I supposed to do with that? Where's my food? Um, your food is on the table. I said food. And I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Babe, I really can't make food this morning. But I made these eggs and bread on the table. Also, I brought out the soup from the fridge just so it doesn't get too frozen. If you want, you can microwave that and also eat. What did you just say? Did you just say I should go to the kitchen and prepare food for myself? Babe, see, I have a lot of work to do in the office this morning. And I'm not even done. You were there, I was awake almost all through the night. I couldn't even finish. And I need to submit this paperwork before 11 a.m. this morning. Please, I have to be at work and I'm running late already. How is that supposed to be my problem? Listen to me. You go in there, go to the kitchen, prepare food for me, bring it here before leaving. Are you even understanding what I'm saying? I said I'm running late, you're talking, there's food. There's food on the table. Did you just raise your voice at me? You raise your voice at me? How dare you raise your voice at me? You seem to take this work more serious than me. Frank, you're just being... Just, I'm talking. Because of this work, you denied me touching you last night. Because of this same work now, you want to deny me breakfast? You don't want me to eat? I'm not going to take that No, 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 please, don't go there. This is office work. You see, I, I spent all night working on this. I'm not even done. You can't play with this. Okay? I don't care about it. I'm going to go out there and destroy everything. You can't destroy that. That is office work. Just watch me, please. Swear. You can't do it. See, if please. you come close to me, I will beat you mercilessly this morning. Frank, what is wrong with you? I will give you a punch you regret in your whole life. What is wrong with you? Because Just I need my work. I need my work. Give it to me. You're going to take that. I can't take that office work for granted. Right Rubbish. Give it back to me. Yeah, come in. Hey. Hey, bro. Good morning. Good morning. Please. Please tell me you at least had a good night's sleep. Bro, how can I sleep knowing that the proceedings are today? But I told you to relax. We are going to win this. She doesn't have anything on you. Or are you planning to settle out of court? Settle out of court? Why would I do that? Love. Bro, I'll be the most stupid person on the face of the earth to take her back. Well, if you say so, it's all good. Let's get ready. The appointment is for nine. All right? I'll be ready. We'll get through this. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Hey, you Babe. Are you okay? What happened to your lips? And don't even tell me it was a fall because this does not look like a fall. Um, I was trying to change them up and something scratched my lip. You were trying to change? Wait, where was Frank then? You were the one trying to change the ball. He, he got, he got a call last night that his mom had an attack, so he left. What? Is she okay? Yeah, he said she's doing fine now. Um, thank God. Ah. 
So how far now? What's up with the papers Mr. Terry asked you to prepare? You know we have to go through before our 11 o'clock meeting. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Yes, she's here. Okay, sir. So, sorry, I want to see you. Are you okay? My laptop got damaged. What? Wait. Got damaged how? Let me see. My God, how did your laptop get damaged to this point? Okay, you know what? Just go, just explain everything to him, show him the laptop. You can still get it from the hard drive, just go. Okay. Yes, don't worry, you understand. You find a way out, just go. If I could turn the hands of time, if I could turn the hands of time, if I could erase the spring, I'm really sorry about the fall. That was must have been a really bad fall. Can I see? And you said the files are in the hard drive. Yes, sir. I'll have to get Dennis to somehow pull it out. But for the meantime, we're going to have to find a way to either replace your laptop or fix this one. Okay? Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. No, I just need to change it. I'm sorry. It's fine. Dennis, yeah, please come to my office. All right. Bro, you almost just ruined that full outfit. I'm actually glad the coffee isn't that hot. You need to get ready because we need to leave now. Is it time? Yes, we need to get there early. And Mrs. Delrose says she wants to see you before we leave. Mrs. Delrose, you took a call. That meeting isn't scheduled till next week, but fine. Okay. okay. What happened to you? Um, Mr. Bass spilled coffee on my outfit. I'm not talking about your pants. I'm talking about these marks on your body. No, Sarah, these marks only brought down to one thing. Is this guy still hitting you? Hitting me? What are you talking about? I'm not blind. Wait, 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 wait. The broken laptop, was that him too? Nasara, you're lying to me. You can't talk to me. Listen, please don't tell anyone. I mean, he's not that bad. You're making excuses for a weak man. Only a weak man would do this to you. Okay, fine. It's fine. You shouldn't be talking about me. And even we shouldn't even be talking about my private life. Really? Yes. Excuse me. Now, Sarah. Hello, Zaya. Please, I need to talk to you. Zaya. You're not supposed to tell anyone. I am not just anyone. Take your seat. Look, I'm sorry. I just have to tell you. Why are you here? I was told to come check up on my sister. 
Well, I don't know why she had to call you. This is not even a big deal. It was important she told me. And stop lying to yourself that it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. He dead least his fans on you. What's your problem? Well, there's no problem. I mean, don't you fight with your don't you fight with your man? Verbally, yes. But physical, it doesn't lace on me. You wouldn't try it. Okay, fine. Frank already apologized. This is the problem. This right can here. Can you the... can you stay away from this? She's worried. Don't you see? And stop yelling. By the way, is that aware of this? Oh, oh God, why are you telling that? What has this got to do with that? Besides, you know he doesn't like Frank, so why do you want to involve him? Dad is just being dad, watching over his girl. Okay, that's the problem. I am not a little girl, okay? I can take care of myself. That's what you two have failed to understand. Now, this is exactly your problem. You don't always listen. Just an advice. If you want people to stop controlling you and meddling in your affairs, then stop making silly decisions. Yes, I'll be forced to take this fight. And you don't want me to. You don't have to go to Frank. Alright? I can take care of things. I'm fine. I didn't call you to come do anything yet. I don't know why you had to call her. You know what? I wish I can. You will hear from me. I'm sorry, okay? That's all right. Yes, sir. Files, you have the murder. Yes, sir. Let me have them. See? Well, Luchi. Sir. Get the boardroom ready. I have a meeting in 25 minutes. Okay, sir. You can save it, my son. Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry, I was coming to your office just now. Okay. Um, Mr. Terry, I wanted to thank you for closing the deal. No problem, I was just doing my job. Yes, yes. And you did a nice job. Thank you. Um, I couldn't help but notice you have been working late nights of recent, pushing yourself unnecessarily. Is it about the divorce? The divorce? Listen. I know you're a guy. And I know what you're doing. But the truth is, you cannot win this fight by overworking yourself. So, here is what I would suggest. Hmm? Either you take some time off, or you book an appointment with a psychosociologist on human behavior and mental health. I could recommend a licensed therapist. I'm sorry, have you been speaking with Abbas? Never. It is obvious, Terry. You are the best thing that has happened to this firm. And I cannot watch you just break down. OK, so you have been speaking to Abbas. Fine, but not in a negative way. 
See, I asked Oluchi to take some loads off you and herself. That's why Nasara will be assisting you from henceforth. Assisting me, I, I, I don't share the same opinion as you. Um, there, there definitely has to be a different approach to this other than what you are proposing. Mr. Terry, you don't have a choice. Nasara is going to be your personal assistant. Wow. Hello, ma. Um, this is everything you asked for. Oh, thank you, Alichi. Um, Make sure you give a word or two to Nasara. At them, tell her that tomorrow I'll give her the briefing. All right, ma. Okay? All right, thank, thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Mr. Terry. So, I guess that's it. Good night, then. All right, thank you. Okay. Good night. All right, thank you. Fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm all right. It's okay. That's my car. Are you sure you're not going to ride with me? No, mine is coming. Okay, I'm sorry. It's all right. Good night. Good night. enough to tell your sister to call the cops on me. I didn't eh? tell my sister anything. And that's the reason why you intend not coming home, right? I will, I will surely do it. I will just you, you Come here. You, 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 What is wrong with you? And who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Just stay away from this. You right? made, come here. Are you, are you mad? You made this my business the minute you put your hands on her. You want to fight a man, right? Let's go! Let's f***ing go! Don't worry. You'll meet me at home. You'll surely meet me at home! I will deal with you! Rubbish! Nonsense! That's what I thought. Slut! Are you okay? Yeah. Did he hurt you? No, I'm alright. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Is there anyone I can call? Your brother, your sister, anyone at all? Really? I think going home would be the best day. I'm not going to take you. Let me take you inside. So, the bruise on your face? Me. The broken laptop? Good evening. That wasn't the real fall, right? I see. Thank you. I I honestly don't know why I stayed in that relationship this long. You don't have to feel stupid. It's okay to believe in people and trust that they will change. And even if they don't, there's nothing wrong with trusting people. I mean, I was once there. So I understand. You can't do for us? Excuse me? Mm. Well, it's, um, it's fine. It's not a secret anymore. But what's more important is that I hope you've learned from this. And in your next relationship, at least now you know what to expect. Because on no grounds is it right to hit or to beat a woman. I've always known. I just didn't want to end things between Frank and I because he was the first man in my life. 
Is that why you chose not to leave him? Is that why you decided to stay? So you got too used to pain? Wow. Despite everything he did to you. Well, I was married for five years. And I mistook comfort for security. And despite seeing all the red flags, I decided not to accept them. Well, what I'm interested in now is knowing where you're going to stay. I don't know. It's, it's just my sister's place and I don't want to go to her place. Is it okay if I get you a place to stay tonight so that you don't have to go home? Yes, I, I really appreciate that. And for the long term, I would like you to get you an apartment where you'd be staying since you're going to be working as my assistant. But I want to would that be too expensive? And about being your assistant, I thought Oluji was joking about that. Well, I did not want that initially. We're seeing that all you've been through from home. I think the best thing to do is to get you an apartment. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. I love your spirit for work and your zest for life. It'll mean everything to me and for my company to have you on board as my assistant. Thank you, sir. Hopefully that will turn a new leaf for you and you can start life all over again. Okay? So, um, I'm hungry. What about you? Yeah. All right, let's eat then. So, how do you like the place? It's nice. Mm. You should try to get some rest. It's been a long night. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate everything. Nah, no, it's okay. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right, good night. Thank you, sir. And you need to stop calling me, sir. <laughs> good night. All right, good night. Good morning, sir. Here we go with the sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay, we're going to have to get you new clothes because you can't wear that to the office. Oh, sorry. My sister. Oh. Hello, sir. Why have you not been taking your calls? Oh, I, I slept off. Yeah. I was at Frank's place yesterday, and he said you didn't come home. I went there this morning, 
but the fool will not open the door. Where the hell are you? Um, I... I had a lot to do at work yesterday and I finished late, so my boss got me somewhere to sleep. Yeah, Zaya, I need, I need some clothes to change. I don't know if you can help me with some. I can get you a lot. What do you mean a lot? Well, I took out your personal stuff after I got Frank arrested. I thought you were going to come over to spend the night. Of course you know I won't, even if I wanted to. Really? Yes. Oh, please, can you just get the things for me so I can go to work? Where do you say you are again? I'm at... Um, Crystal Hotel. Okay. You see me shortly. All right. Oh, my sister will soon be here. Okay, that's great. Um, it's okay, fine. I'll send you some money. Sano, you you don't have to. I mean, you've done. A You've done a lot already. Oh, come on, it's fine. I know there are some things you want to get for yourself. Can I get your account details? Um, 0125. To walk away, because I'm scared. So scared to start again. But if I could turn back the hands of time. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome, I hope that's enough. Sure. All right, so I'll see you later at the office. Thank you. Bye. Hey, sis. You had a sleep suite in your big hotel. What sweet sleep? You're lucky you didn't go home because I wonder what that girl would have done to you. Was I you shouldn't have done that. We're still going to sort out things. With another black lips, that guy needs to be taught a lesson. For real. I can always handle myself. That's what you need to understand. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's by the way. Did you bring the things for me? Inside the car. Where? This? Yeah. Never knew I was being played. It's inside the car. If I could turn the hands of time, if I could turn the hands of time, if I could erase this big mistake I made. I could save my heart. <sighs> All right, sis, thank you so much. Hmm. You should stop saying it. I know how much you ate that on your business. But so bad, I will always be in your business. Because that's what big sisters do. <laughs> All right, still have a nice day. And stay away from Frank. Bye. Love you. Love you. Good morning. Madam. Yes. Good morning. Uh, Madam, you're late too. Mr. Terry has been looking for you. Like, he wants to see you ASAP. And the MD wants to see you too. I don't know. Why, why is everybody looking for me? I don't know. Maybe something about your new position. Go, go with your position. Yes. Okay. These are some of the paperwork I want you to work on. Um, take your time. Dot the I's, cross the T's. Uh, this should help you get your mind off things. And if you need any help with any other thing, please do not hesitate to ask me. Okay, sir. 
And um, please stop calling me, sir. You can call me Terry. But sir, I, I cannot call you by name. Okay, can I at least call you Mr. Terry instead? That's fine. As long as you don't call me, sir. Okay. Oh, wait. One more thing. Uh, I called the agent I was supposed to get an apartment for you. And he just sent me a message that he got a fantastic place and we need to check it out. So if you're free doing your work break, we can go see the place. Okay, sir. Sorry. <laughs> sir, can I just be official with you? Mm. It's fine. I understand. All right. Thank you, sir. What do you think? You like the place? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make payments then. Mr. Terry, I, I think this place is really expensive. Look, Nassara, let's take it one day at a time, okay? All I just want you to say is yes, and I'll go ahead and make the payments. Well, why are you doing this? I mean, we can get a cheaper place. Look, your safety means a lot. Okay? So I don't think you should worry about it. And rather, I want you to be somewhere where there's really good security and he can't just come up to you. All right? Your peace of mind and your safety is key. And also, I don't know why, but I'd like to see you happy. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, hello? What, right now? <sighs> All right, I'll be there in five minutes. Sorry about that. That was my ex-wife. She wants us to meet. Oh, okay. Do you mind I drop you off somewhere on my way back? Um. I'm actually going home. I want to go pick a few things. You're going home? Isn't that dangerous? Wouldn't you be there? Uh, no, Frank will still be at work now. Hmm. But I don't mind, actually. I can drop you off somewhere for you to take a taxi. Thank you, sir. Okay? And well, please be careful. Sure. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want? I'm actually headed to Frank's place to pick up a few of my things. Can you meet me there? Why? Sorry, I just don't want to take chances. He's supposed to be at work, but then again, what if he's 
at home. Okay, why are you let me pick you up? I'm already in a cab heading to his place. I'm almost there. Alright, see you soon. I knew you would come back. Come here! I will deal with you. I'm trying to get it to them. I will deal with She's in the hospital? Yes. What happened to her? I don't even know. She went to her boyfriend's house to pick up her things and he beat her up again. <sighs> but I'm, I don't know. I, what hospital is, is she in? Um, St. Fabian's Hospital. Okay, I'll head there now. I'll take my calls. If anyone calls me, tell them that I'm not on seat. Okay, sir. Please, where is she now? Is she okay? What's happening? No, I'm... Oh, Nassara, don't... Hello. It's okay. It's okay. I it's can't okay. get it. I can't get a hug now. No. For a while, you'll still have your boss's perfume all over you. Oh, come on. Can you at least get a drink and start, stop spitting nonsense very much? I'm not here to order drinks. I'm here because he called me. So what am I doing here? Okay, I called you because I, um, I just want us to talk. Okay? I want us to talk. Talk about what? Talk about the kids, us, and maybe. Look, talk about the kids. 
Lola, there's nothing to talk about. I shouldn't have even come here in the first place. I'll see you later. Mr. Terry Ada, can you sit down there before I make it loud here? Okay. You have my attention. Okay, listen. I'm so sorry. I am super, super sorry. I know I hurt you, and there's no amount of apology that can erase the pain I caused you. I'm, I'm just so sorry. Listen, all I just want is for you to forgive me. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. I've already forgiven you, even if you don't believe me. So are you done? Listen, I know I messed up, okay? I'm so sorry. I mean, but why are you making it look like it's my fault? Do you mean it's not your fault? <sighs> I know so, okay? I mean, look at you acting like a teenager that God is heartbroken. This is a typical you. Always hiding pain. I don't know. I mean, this is the same issue that made our marriage to break. Okay, so you're telling me that this is the issue that made our marriage to break up. Not because you were sleeping with your boss. Or not because you seduced my cousin anytime he came to the house. Or this was the reason why we broke up? Wow. You're so unbelievable. Terry, I'm sorry, okay? Can we put our defenses behind? Can we... Can you just forgive me? I mean, I don't like the way you look at me right now. I just want you to forgive me. Please. You know, this is really funny. You know why? Because I don't know what I'm doing here listening to this. Lola, I give you everything. Everything. But I guess it wasn't enough for you. Come on, I came here because of our kids, okay? Can we put everything behind us regardless? Please. <sighs> yes, we can do that. And I can forgive you and move forward. Which I've already done, even if you don't believe me. Thank you for forgiving me. Well, I didn't forgive you because of you, no. I forgave you because of me, so that I can move on. I still love you, Terry. I love you, Terry. I know that you do. But look, Lola, you must understand that I do not love you, okay? And you are the mother of our kids. And I don't want to see you anything other than that. And next time, if you're going to call me, please check with my schedule first to know if I'm free or not. Because I'm not going to entertain these kind of calls again. Thanks for your time, okay? I'll take my leave now. Do enjoy the rest of your day. With someone I thought loved me too Invested my feelings, love and emotion Never knew I was being played If I could turn the hands of time If I could turn the hands of time if I could erase this big mistake I made I could save my heart And not be in this pain At all But in your eyes I saw love In your heart I found love they say I'll be loving you eternally.
Hey, sis. Thank you. Oh. Oh, this is such a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. But I can't believe you paid for this. Well, I never said I paid. Then who did? Everyone thinks it's me. And I think it's you. But something tells me that your boss, Mr. Terry, paid for this place. Yes. Mr. What? Why would you pay such an amount for this place? Well, I don't know. Is there something you're not telling me? I'm not a fool. Are you sleeping with your boss? No. Then why is it so nice to you? I don't know. The day you arrested um, Frank and he came to attack me, Mr. Terry witnessed it and then he got me a hotel and promised to get a decent place for me. Wait a moment. Are you talking about the other day you slept in the hotel and you told me you had work to do? and your office had to give you a place to stay. You lied to me. I'm sorry, I had to. Why are you keeping things away from me? I'm your sister, your elder sister. Anything that affects you takes a turn on me. Is that too difficult for you to understand? Sis, it's just that I didn't want to bother you. <sighs> bother me? I'm not complaining. You're the only one I have. You're not a burden to me. Never. Like I said, I'm really sorry. All right? I'm sorry. This should be the last time. Stop keeping things away from me. And as for your boss, this is my two ends. Don't have anything to do with him. I'm begging you. I won't. Please. Or sis, please. Do not tell anyone that Mr. Terry got this place for me. Not even on you, G. Please. <sighs> okay. And you. Keep your promise, okay? Let me get something to it. I'm coming. Up here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm all right. Thanks, everything. Hello, Chief. Nasa. Sir, good morning. What are you doing here? Good morning, sir. I'm back to work, sir. Good morning. How are you feeling? I feel better now. That's good. Well, it's good to have you back. Thank you, sir. Uh, go through these files. Let me know where you're done. Okay, sir. 
<sighs> Doctor, honestly, if I were you, we would still be home resting. Why are you back to work so soon? You don't know how boring that life is. He's with him here, Joe. I've never had this one. <laughs> you get tired. Hello, sir. It's for you. Okay, sir. Hello? All right, sir. He beats me and he hurts me. I keep telling myself I love him, he'll change. And this is just. How are you feeling? Good. Please take a seat. Thank you. You know, you don't have to be here if you're not that strong, right? I'm, I'm strong, sir. I also want to say thank you for everything. I really appreciate I should have dropped by to come and check on you, but I was trying to be careful. I understand. Meanwhile, since you're back to work, I've got something for you. Dennis advised that since your laptop was damaged, we should get you a new one. So I decided to Buy you a new laptop. Here, it's yours. Wow. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, sir. Thank you so much. It's okay. At least now you can take some workload off Luchi. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Your heart, I find love. No matter what they say, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so fine. Oh, no, you're so lucky. I never, I never expected this. <gasps> Mr. Terry is such a good man. I swear. It's unfortunate his wife cheated on him. His wife cheated? Cheated. Who are your voice? Why would she cheat? Because most women don't appreciate good men. See me here every day, I'm praying and crying to God for a man like Mr. Terry. Another person is there with him. Oh, it's life, no balance, sir. Wow. Well, that's life. It's really, really unfair. Mm. You don't always get what we deserve. Honestly, but if that man does as much as wink at me, <laughs> girl, I would fall into his arms. I won't even think about it. I'll just fall. Oh, you <laughs> What? The man is sugar, and trust me, if he's in my mouth, honey, I'm not going to spit it out. In fact, I'll keep him there, and I would suck uh, uh, the uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> What? He's a hot dude. And that's why his wife doesn't want to sign those divorce papers. Unfortunately, he's gone because as for me, <laughs> I'm going to give him clothes marking. He's not going anywhere <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's just funny. That's true. Do you know his birthday is in four days? Ah, I want to do something for him. I don't know. Something really special. Oh, I wish I could throw him a birthday party. You know, yeah, something. His birthday? Yeah. What do you think I can get him? I don't know. I want something nice. Well, I should be asking you, considering you've been working with him for some time. I'll okay. get him something, yeah. Bring me this laptop. I'm going to use our phone for two days. Phone? What is phone? Let me just snap the pictures. Yeah. Thank you so much for making my day, Mr. Terry. I'm glad I was able to make your day. Uh, I don't know. If it's be okay for you to just come upstairs. Um, but I really have to go, though. To somewhere I need to be. Please, even if it's just a glass of water. That would have been nice. But I really have to leave. Why? 
Why do you keep doing this? Do what? I'm asking your emotions. I don't. You do. You always want to be there for people. You don't want people to be there for you. Sarah, come on. You know that's not true. That's very true. <sighs> Mr. Terry, you need to stop. All right? You need to stop doing this to yourself and just let it all out. I know deep down you're holding up this anger and pain and it's really eating you up. You're a good man. I mean, you go to work from Monday to Friday. On Saturday, you take your kids out. And on Sunday, you spend it preparing for a new week. That's not a way to live life. You should take out time to take care of yourself. Let people be there for you too. <laughs> You see that? That fixed man. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen you laugh. And when I mean laugh, like true laughter. Okay, I guess I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes is fine. Look so well. I think that is a compliment. Mm -hmm. You should, and you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I, I just ask myself why I stay put with Frank, despite all the mixed signal. And all I can say is illusion. Illusion? Not love. It was never love. I saw the red flags, but I was just living in denial. Simply because I've always wanted to end up with the first man in my life. Frank was so mean to me. But I was always seeing him as this alpha male. But thinking about it now, I feel really foolish. You know, I didn't leave my relationship because of the red flags or anything. You know, just like my parents, I didn't want to raise my kids in a broken home. And I did my best, really. But she was drowning and tossing everything. I did my very best to love her and give her everything she ever desired. Until she cheated. Sorry, excuse me. How much of my personal life have you guys been discussing in that office? No, it's not like that, Mr. Terry. It's not at all. Wow. Thanks for the food, Art. No, Mr. Well, Terry, please, now. please don't be offended. It's just something I overheard in the office. Good night. Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry. He bit me and he me. I 
keep telling myself I love him, he'll change. And this is just a phase. It keeps happening, and I lack the courage Come in. to walk away. Because I'm scared. Good morning, Good morning. Did you sleep well? You're supposed to still meet the files I gave you to work on since 10 a.m. Where were you? Um, is everything okay? Miss Ebeloma, stop asking me questions and do get back to work. Is this because of what happened yesterday? Nothing happened yesterday. Please get back to work. Oh, Mr. Terry, did I do I said, get back to work! I heard him yelling at you. What's going on? He didn't yell at me. I heard him. I said he did not yell at me. What did you do? I heard him Can yelling at you. Can you stop asking me questions? I just said he did not yell at me. Sir, is there something that you would want me to do for you? No, nothing. Thank you. Nasara. Miss Ebiloma, sir. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Thank you. Nasara. Alright, I'm done for today. Oh, okay, sir. Um, good night. Have a wonderful weekend. I will. You too. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, I, I was just wondering if by any chance you'd need any assistance this weekend. Feel free to call me. Baloch, are you flirting with me? Um, no, no, sir. I, I, was just, I was just trying to help. Please don't do that next time. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Where's Nasara? She had to leave work early. She said something about not feeling too well. I see. Alright then. Good night. Good night. about what happened in the office, okay? And I'm sorry. But I had to make sure that we maintain at least a good working relationship. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. All right? What are people going to say? The society is going to frown at it. I mean, it's, it's fine. I believe I've tried my best here, but it's okay if that's not what you want. It's, it's, it's fine.
Look. How do you know what I want? How can you say that? Action speaks louder than the voice they say. Then maybe we need to talk then. Maybe. Most times I ask myself, where have you been all my life? I just wish I could turn back the hands of time. Hmm. Time and chance happens. And I'm really happy for that. And I'm more happy that I'm here. But at the same time, I'm scared because I don't want this to end. Why are you scared? Are you planning on ending things? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just that <sighs> I'm scared because every single woman I've been in love with has left me at the end. So you think I'm going to do the same to you if we ever get serious? Look, Nasara, I really do admire your level of maturity. But I fear that if we really take this seriously, like get into a deep, serious relationship, you would be allowed to meet the minute you start hearing things and tongues start wagging. I stayed with Frank for years. Despite what my sister, my friend, and even my dad had to say. What makes you think that if you are my happy place, I'm going to give attention to whatever anyone thinks or says? Hmm. Don't make me get my hopes up. Just try. Hmm? Yeah. Just ask me to be your girlfriend. Look, Nasara, I know that you're emotional right now. And your emotions might be all over the place. Just and... ask me. Nasara, will you be my girlfriend? That's not how to ask. You have to ask me properly. Like, ask like a man that really wants something. Not like I'm compelling you to. Use lines, pick up lines. Do you want me to use lines? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. You asked for this. Mm -hmm. Um I I don't know how this is possible because I don't see you with any car keys, but you seem to drive me crazy. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, right? Who was that? What, wait, 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 was that bad? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm terribly suck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> wow. Okay. Um, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, can you please save me the stress of using these bad pickup lines mm -hmm. and please be my girlfriend? Gladly. Yeah, I really don't want to drive you crazy. <laughs> 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 
Tô aqui de drive, tô aqui. Você foi muito bom. Eu não tenho ideia. Ele veio. Ele veio. Sim, obrigado por chamar. Sim, eu vou te ajudar. Tudo bem, até mais. Abbas! Is this for me? Happy birthday to Thank you, you so friend. much, man. Thank you so much. And this is for you. Wow, more <laughs> gifts are coming in. I don't even know who these are from. Are you serious? I'm serious. You won't believe who this is from. It's from Lola. And she keeps addressing herself as my wife. What is wrong with this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come in. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Get a cake. And a gift. I hope you enjoy today and you have a wonderful birthday. I definitely will. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I haven't seen Nasara today. Is she well? Um, I'd like to believe so, although her numbers have been off, but I'll keep trying. Okay, if she comes, do let me know. Okay, sir. Um, happy birthday again. Thank you. More gifts. I know that smile. What's that look on your face for? Aluchi. What about her? That girl loves you. Bro, you're not serious, right? I am. I mean, Look at the way she flirts with you. It's just that you're too blind to see it. Bro, I'm not blind. I'm just not interested. Listen, all you need to do is to open up your heart to the phone. I mean, who knows? I see. Well, sorry to bust your bubble. I'm actually in love with someone else. And who is she? Well, she's my mystery woman. We're taking things slow at the moment, so until we become official, I'll introduce you to her. Okay. Okay. It's all good. Of course it's all good. <laughs> and today is my birthday. And uh, my birthday behavior starts in three, two, one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is for you, sir. Don't you think it's too early for alcohol? What are you talking about? It's my birthday. I'm allowed to bend the rules. <laughs> Who am I to say no to a <laughs> bottle of wine? <laughs> right? That is for you, good man. This hair is for me. Cheers. To the big, big boy. Yep. To the birthday boy. Mm. Time to open these gifts. This is what I got. Sarah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why do you keep calling me sir? Oh. Good evening, Mr. Terry. I sense some kind of attitude. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I think something's something is up. Nothing. Are you sure? What's wrong? I mean, you didn't come to work today and you didn't, you didn't tell anyone that you were coming. And we've been trying to reach you all day and your phones have been switched off. Well, um, I called the MD to tell her I wasn't coming to work. I'm a bit under the weather. And after I finished calling her, my phone packed up, so I had to go fix it. I see. So how are you feeling now? Much better than when I woke up. What is this? Why are you crying or why? You don't know what today is? What is today? You mean you have no idea whatsoever what today is? No. 
I wonder if everyone has been sending me gifts apart from you. Sending you gifts? Yes. Let's go. Why are they sending you gifts? What? <laughs> you did all this? Happy birthday, my love. I mean, they will just know I was going to forget your birthday. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Wait, where did you get the money to fix all this? Well, I didn't steal it and I didn't borrow it. <laughs> Come here. This is really special. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so go ahead and wrap. <sighs> where do I start from? Chocolate! <laughs> You got me chocolates. Yep, because I know you like chocolates. What are you doing? I'm making memories. <sighs> Be bored. Mm. What is it? It's it's nothing. I'm I'm okay. It's just that. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I mean, I... I haven't seen anyone do this for me in such a long time. Babe. You're a good man, and I know. You always do things like this for people. Hmm? And that is why I've taken it upon myself to do this for you. I mean, look at everything you've done for me in this short period of time. Babe, I know you might not understand it, but I love you. With you, I found peace and comfort, and above all, happiness. And I am not ready to trade that for anything. These are really beautiful words, and Nassara, you must know that I love you too, okay? But you must promise me one thing. If this doesn't work out, at least be nice to me. I'm not going anywhere, tell me. What if? Well, all you need to do is just be nice. And I promise to stick my life to your cross. Isn't that asking for too much? Well, I did more for someone who doesn't even care about me. Now, what do you think I would do for someone who loves me so much? Hmm? I'll do anything. Such a nice thing to say. Okay, it's your birthday and hearts. <laughs> That's a really nice cake. That's a beautiful cake. You like it? Yes. Okay. And you bought me chocolates. Yes, of course I know you love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. Just that anyway. Okay, <laughs> how about you? <laughs> okay. No <laughs> right? <laughs> mm. That is my birthday, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I get my I get to eat my cake. I knew you were gonna do that to me. Don't starve me on my birthday. I'll talk now. Yes. Up. Mm. Okay. 
I mean, what else? I was going to go with my blood. Yeah, I'm free. Now that he's out, you'll have to be careful. But don't worry. I promise to protect you. Come rain, come sunshine. Okay? Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Olochi, why didn't you knock on the door? Sorry, sir, but I knocked. And then you wait for me to answer the door instead of you to just barge in like that. I'm, I'm sorry, it was urgent, sir. DMD said he's looking for her, so I came to inform her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine, you have to go. the face it keeps happening and i lack the courage to walk away because i'm scared so scared to start again but if I could turn back, what just happened in here how long has this been going on Please tell me everything I witnessed in there was just a moment of heated emotions. Oluchi, I do not owe you any explanation. Hell yes you do. You were kissing a married man. A divorced man. <laughs> that doesn't mean he was not once married. Which makes him single and ready to date. I can't believe what you're saying right now. Can you please not try to make this your business? I heard is true. What are you talking about? Your boss. She was dating your boss. Baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Saya. Yeah? Um, babe, I'll just attend to my sister now. Come with you. Alright. Okay. 
So it's true. Sis, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Have you lost your mind? He's a man by your boss. What does it used to be? And what does it matter? Just keep quiet. I asked you if something was going on between you both. And you said nothing. Because nothing was going on then. I mean, I was going to tell you. I just needed time. He's your boss and he's married. And besides, all she said is in the court filing for divorce. Okay. All she said. That girl is such a snitch. And that's She's like, not a snitch. She's watching out for you. Well, that's her business. Sis, why can't you be happy for me? I mean, I had just left Frank. And now I have found happiness and tranquility with a mature, stable and caring man. And you think I want to throw that away for anything in the world? I can't. He's going to use you and dump you. Well, Can't you see? I just want to be used and dumped. That man loves me and I love him too. No, you can't love him. Why? You can't. Why? Because he's going to dump you. I just, it's fine with me. No, it can't be I fine with you. I want to be used and dumped. What? Let's leave my sister. Take you. What's this? Open it and see for yourself. I don't even understand what this. Well, I don't understand. Oh, Mr. Terry got me a job. A mouth watering job with that good pay in an international organization based on recommendation. And you think you still want to take advantage of me? Well, I mean, if that's how men take advantage of women. I'll gladly be taken advantage of. It's fine. I'll just take it. I'm falling down. Yeah. I'll be on my way. Wait, I have to go now. All I can say is just be careful. I'm fine. And congratulations. Thank you. Later. Babe! Girl, good morning. You're looking hot too. Is, Is everything all right? Nas, I'm talking to you. How about you stop talking to me? Hey, where is this coming from? I don't understand. Well, I never knew you picked up snitching as a hobby. Excuse me. I'm Bichi. You ran off like a little child to my sister, simply because you saw Terry and I kissing. Really? Babe, it was improper. Who are you to tell me what's right and wrong? Dating your boss is wrong. And who made that rule? Who? Everyone knows that. Even you? You, Oluchi? You that has been fantasizing about how you want to be laid by Mr. Terry? I think you so much. I was just joking. Look, Nas, it's wrong to date your boss. Exactly why I just quit my job. What? No, 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 no. This is the new stuff. Okay? I put her through once Nasara is done clearing her desk. Okay. Thank you. Where is he? Where is Terry? Where the hell is he? 
Where is Terry? Where is Terry? You're looking at me. Where is Terry? Excuse me. You know, I still don't understand why she resigned. I don't understand myself. I was trying to put Where it is he? Why would you barge into my office like that? Why wouldn't I barge into your office like that? I mean, you took a life-changing opportunity from me. That was supposed to be my big break. And you gave it to some other girl? And where the hell is she? I don't owe you any expectations. Oh, you do? You owe me a lot of explanations. I mean, I prayed for this, I waited for this for a long time. And it's here now, and you took it from me? Where the hell is this Nasara or the girl? Nasara is the name of a state. Stop embarrassing me. Oh, yourself. don't tell me that. And don't you ever talk to me like that again. You know what? I'm coming back for you. This is just the beginning. This is not over yet. I'm coming back for you. Rubbish. Terry. Did you recommend Nasara for a job meant for her? Ignore her, bro. Terry, don't gaslight me. Right, I asked you a question that demands an answer. What have you not been telling me? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm listening. I've been seeing Nasara. I, I don't understand. You, you've been seeing Nasara. Seen? Like how? Nasara and I have been a thing. Have you been smashing her? Ah, bro, come on now. Smashing? Who uses that language, smashing? That's high school language, bro. I mean, we're genuinely in a relationship. I love her and she loves me. Terry, do you realize that girl is your staff? I know that she's my staff, but this is not what you think it is. I'm not out here having a fling. We are actually in love. You mean she's still out there? What's the meaning of this? Don't tell me to calm down! Don't you tell me that! I won't! I won't! You know what? I'm gonna come back when your enemies around, okay? Because I need to tell her how petty a full blown man like Terry can be. Lola, what are you still doing here? Why are you creating a scene? Oh, please don't tell me that. Oh, you think I'm creating a scene, yeah? You think I'm creating a scene? You know what? I'm gonna look for that Nasara of a girl. That girl you gave my job. That girl you gave everything I never thought to. I'm gonna look for her and I will come back to you. Please. Whatever it is, I believe we can talk about it outside. Really? Talk about what? Huh? Do you know what it means to work in Sarafina Group as a regional supervisor? Do you know what that means to me? Everything I worked for, he took it and gave it to that Nasara of a girl. Do you know how I feel? I'm really sorry about that. Oh, please don't tell me that. You know what? I'm coming back to you. He bits me and he hurts me. I keep telling myself I love him. He'll change. And this is just a phase. It keeps happening and I lack the courage to walk away. Did he really give out her slot? <laughs> so he gave out the slot meant for his ex-wife to Nasara. So that's why she resigned. <laughs> wow, things are really happening in this office. So, Mr. Abbas, can you believe it? So, you don't have any other thing reasonable to do with your time, right? Instead of you to be busy at the office, you're here poking nose into things that don't concern you. I'm really gonna have to do something about this embarrassment. I knew you will be. Hmm? 
I love how you're willing, like always willing to protect me. I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Babe, mm -hmm. do you know I love you, right? I know. And I really don't care what anyone has to say. As long as your arms are around me, over me, like a shield, <laughs> I'm going to choose you, my happiness, over the annoyances. And I'll do everything and anything that requires me of our love. Okay? Sure. See you later, okay? Have to okay, go. babe. See you soon, okay? Okay. Drive safely. I will. Don't forget to call. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Bye, yeah. Bye. What's up? Where? <laughs> I just uh, Terry's just leaving now. You're where? You're driving in. Where are you driving from? Ah, I was even thinking the car is already. Okay, I'll just wait for you inside then. <laughs> Ayana, I'm standing here. I'm waiting for you. Excuse me. Hi, good day. Uh, are you looking for someone? Yes, and I guess I just found her. Okay. You must be Nasara, if you know my. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, my name is Lola, Terry's wife. Terry's wife, the man you're sleeping with. Well, I don't know. Excuse me. You don't know what? You don't Madame, know what? what is it? You don't know what? What is it? What is it? Say it. Stand what is it? Stand here. Why are you dragging me? What do you mean, Not husband? Please stature. don't scratch me with your nails Wait, what, again. What? What, what? what is what? it now? Here. What is it? Stand there. Stand here for what? Who is snatching you your husband? Snatch your husband? Please, I don't want this embarrassment. What? Mother, what is what it? Embarrassment. You're going to injure me. Embarrassment. You're going to injure me. I don't want this. Husband snatcher. Madam, please don't even try that. What? Madam, what, what? is it now? Do you want to scratch me I with will. your nails? I will. What is your problem? I'm some useless thing. Madam, don't do that. Don't do that. What? Did I snatch your husband? Stand here. Madam, what is you? What is that? I don't know. What is Excuse me. Give me what, what kind of What's embarrassment is this What's now? This? What is What's happening what? here? Tell you, start to leave my husband alone. I, I don't no. have your husband. I don't, your husband alone. I don't have your husband. Tell you, start to leave my husband alone. Tell your husband to leave my sister alone. Okay. Please give me my Tell hair. Tell him to leave my sister alone. Give me my hair. Give me my hair. You go back for yourself. You go. You go back for yourself. Go. You go. Leave here. Leave. Leave. Nonsense. Do I have your husband with me? You don't know. Nonsense. Did she enjoy it? She didn't. It's just a scratch on my hand. Let's go to the hospital. A hospital? There's no need for that. She didn't even touch me. This is what you get from dating married men. Do you realize how I almost beat you up? I don't understand. Who is dating a man? Is Terry married? Stay away from Terry. Stay away from me. Well, I'm not going to stay away from Terry. All right? That woman is just bitter and jealous. Just because Terry gave me a job she was supposed to get. And then what am I supposed to do? She's coming here to fight me. For what? You have to stay away from Terry. And I said I won't. You have to stay away from Terry. You have to stay away from Terry. What did I do? She's coming here to embarrass me. Are you kidding me? And this is just a phase. It keeps happening. Well, you said it was you already. To walk away. Because I'm scared. Hello, sweetheart. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? You've been avoiding me. Because you don't exist anymore. Babe. Don't call me babe, all right? Don't. That's not my name. And just so you know, you are a close chapter in my life. You are dead. What? Are you stupid? Don't you dare raise your hands on me again. You dare slap me? I slap you again! Listen, you have to come with me now. Oh, come with me! You must go with me! Leave me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Listen! Listen to me. This is a relationship affair. 
just stay off Who's me from in a this. relationship it's with not you? because of relationship you want to kill her. She's my relationship. she's my girlfriend. Yeah. I don't know I'm this man from anywhere. Who is your girlfriend? Wait, 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 Listen. If you don't know who is your Babe, you know I love you. You know I love you. Stay away from me. Okay, do me so you can go. Let's talk about this, please. Listen. You guys should just let me be. She's my girlfriend for coming out. Babe. Now we are. Yes. What's going on? I don't know. He just came here and slapped me. What? Babe. You believe you're sleeping with this man? Your boss? It's none of your business. I dare you to put your hands on her again. I said, I, I dare be. you! Look at her! Leave me alone, let me do with this man. Eh? Who are you? Eh? Yes. You're not ashamed of yourself. You snatch my girlfriend from me. Security. Eh? I don't okay. want to see this man. He's going, he's going already. He's going already. She's my girlfriend. Eh? You are snatching my girlfriend. Look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Leave me alone. My last is back. Leave me alone. He's okay. Oh God, we understand. Okay, no, no, you're my girlfriend. Okay, you don't. Eh? No. Girlfriend snatcher. You're not ashamed of yourself. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? Look at you. Girlfriend snatcher. Don't worry, I will come after you. You will hear from me very soon. It's okay. Oh, sit down. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Let me even let me let me let me go after okay, him. Yeah. So leave him, leave him. Okay. I say you want to fight. Stay. No, no, no. You, you, you want this to me? What? 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 Where is your boss? Don't tell me to reduce my voice. Where is your boss? Please don't your voice. Please. Where is your boss? I will call him. You better do that. Saya. Oh, yeah, he is. Saya, what are you doing here? I came to see you. You came to see me? Yes. Is everything all right? Everything is not all right. Stay away from my sister. This here is a working premises. If you must speak to me in private, you can come with me to my office. There is no point going to your office. Just do me a favor. Stay away from my sister. I appreciate all you've done for her. But I will not have your wife send her to her early grave. She's all I have. Please stay away from her. As you are. What was the meaning of what you did? I don't understand. What's the meaning of what? How dare you go over to her place to beat her up? <laughs> Is that what she told you? No, I don't play with my intelligence. <laughs> you gave her my dream. Really? The last time I checked, that's my shots to call. And what about you? I gave you everything. And how did you repay me? By sleeping with your boss. But I begged you. And I told you that I've forgiven you. Really? Is that how you forgive me? Hmm? Huh? By taking a dream I've waited so long, all my life, and giving it to that girl? I am in love with that girl. Come on, Terry. She's just your staff. What's wrong with you? Love is what is wrong with me. 
She has given me more love than you have ever given me in five years. And she has also made me a happy man. Really? I bet you it will last. She will find another man that matches her energy and she's going to dump you. Well, if that happens, then I have nothing to regret. But do us both a favor. And let this be the last time you ever go to her house to threaten her. And if I don't? Well, Lola, you have been warned. <laughs> Should I consider this a threat or what? No, it's not a threat. But I'm warning you. Never knew I was being played. Baby, I could turn the hands of time. Baby, I could turn the hands of time. If I could erase this big mistake I made. I could save my heart and not be in this pain at all. But in your eyes I saw love, in your heart I found love. No matter what they say, I've been loving you eternally. I will give my heart. Hey, baby girl, you didn't call to tell me you were coming. And that is because this is not a pleasant visit. Why did you go to Terry's office? Oh, he told you. Of course he told me. What were you expecting? I'm just watching out for you. Watching out for me? So you trying to frustrate my happiness, that is watching out for me? Why? Why do you like meddling in my affairs? You need to stay away. Stay away from my relationship. Really? Yes. Maybe I should just tell that that the daughter is dating a married man. No, please don't. I'm rejecting. I'm scared. Run along. Go tell that I do not care about you two. You two can go to hell. How dare you? Have you lost your mind? What is wrong with Everything you? Everything is wrong with me. I have been fine without you two, all right? And I will always be fine. You need to stay away from my business. She's not taking my calls. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to come with me. It's her birthday. I just want to be there for her in my little way. But she has Terry. Are you being serious? If you don't want to come, you know what, don't just forget about it. I'll go myself. Come on, I was just kidding. Fine, let me dress up. I'm coming. All right, hurry up. Let me dress up too. See you later. do I need to tell you to stop calling my phone, Frank? Babe, I'm sorry about everything. I know you don't believe me. Brian. Thank you, do you know that I don't believe you? So why don't you stop? Well, I was just calling to know if you got the gift I sent. You sent this gift? Why are you sending me gifts? Why? Well, that's rubbish, all right? 
I do not want you and I don't want your miserable gifts. You know, you are one big mistake life brought my way and I am so glad that I realized that on time. So please, Frank, please stay away from me. Please. Who is that? Happy birthday, baby. Baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Whoa, what did you bring? <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Guess what I got for you. Oh, my favorite wine. Of course. Really? I knew you'd love it. Thank you. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Can I have more gifts Thank for you. Thank you so much. What? Guess what else is here? Tell me. Go ahead. Open it. Tell me. Go ahead. <laughs> She owns a car now. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Excuse you, what's not possible? <laughs> Come here. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, uh, thank you. Even though I wasn't expecting you. It's your birthday. Despite our differences, you're still my baby sister. Sister, not baby sister, please. Sorry, you can't change that. <clears throat> Even at old age, you're still my baby sister. And well, whatever, whatever. Well, I brought you at this to say happy birthday to you. And well, thank you. Maybe to say sorry for judging in wrongly. Well, you should say sorry for judging him wrongly because you did. Shh. I'm sorry for judging you wrongly. It's I okay. was wrong. It's okay. Thank you for everything you've been doing for my sister. You're a good man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for well, you. You should be stuck. You have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see this woman right here? She has shown me life from a different lens. <laughs> I never knew a man could be so happy. Every laughter that she shares with me gladdens my heart. Oh. <laughs> so cool. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mia, <laughs> yeah, you. Well, can, are I, you? can I argue? Oh, girl. Please, nobody's hugging anybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go celebrate. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday! Thank you! Sit. <laughs> oh, and now it's hot! Oh! oh. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Okay, take care. All right. She's so lucky. And to think she was wasting time with that riffraff. Men, you see, they have this thing where they will steal your glow and they make you look like they're doing you a favor or something. I'm telling you, look at Nance. Well, if God picks your call, it feels like a dream come true. Ooh. I cannot believe that I am now a car owner. Oh, congratulations, girl. Thank you. It's not like you still have a choice, do you? Oh, thank God you didn't. Anyway. Yeah. Of course, I was never going to leave. I mean, I was never going to back down. And you know, whatever. Well, you said um, just taking me out tonight to a cozy place for a nice dinner outing. That's nice. 
Um, I'm coming, right? It's just her and Terry. But well, that's okay. He said it's fine if you don't want to come. Really? He actually suggested that I invite you to. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure you want us to go with you? Of course I'm sure. I'm serious. I'm not joking. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that reminds me. Where the stuff from Frank? Because I need to dispose them. Dispose what? Where, where, why do you think you're going to pack everything and give it to me? I'll take it to my house. Frank can go to hell for all I care. Well, you can have them if you want. I will have it, please. Okay. Hey, this girl. <laughs> can you imagine? Mm. <clears throat> so, how's the food? Very, very. It's a little dry. It's Right. That's okay. That's your business. Maybe you said I know how to cook. So what you said doesn't matter. Of course, of course you, you said do. that. <laughs> doesn't mean it's true. He bit me and he hurts me. I keep telling myself I love him. He'll change. And this is just a phase. It keeps happening and I lack the courage to walk away. Cause I'm scared, so scared to start again. But if I could turn back the hands of time, live my life differently, I'll save my heart from this pain. Oh, if I could turn back you like the food? The the food. We're going to, to like food. Hmm? We're going to like food this day. <laughs> Of course, it's comfortable. Oh my god. I didn't know how else to ask you to take this walk with me on this journey. You made me fall in love again. You made me love life. And I don't think I can do this without you. Nasara, I am so in love with you. And even if you say no to me, right now, I'll still cherish all the beautiful memories that we've had together. Because I don't know if you think that you're beautiful on the outside. I think you have the most amazing soul that I've ever seen. Babe, I will be the most foolish man on earth to miss out on a good man like you. I honestly don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know I'm ready to do life with you. So yes. But in your eyes I saw love, in your heart I find love. No matter what they say, oh my God. Wow. I love you too. You have me. <laughs> oh. Come here, sis. Thank you. Wow. I feel like crying. I'm so happy for you both. Oh. This is crazy. Oh. Oh. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, Mas. Good afternoon, Lulu. How is work? 
Pork is fine. We are doing fine, ma'am. Well done. Well okay. done. Wow. Well. Nancy, you look really good. Thank you. This marriage really fits you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Is it in? Yeah, Hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Mm. You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Luchi. Sir. Cancel all my appointments for today. I'll be taking my baby out. <laughs> no problem, sir. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye now. now. Hey, it bit Are you okay? Me, and he hurts me. I keep telling myself I love him, he will change. And I hope Nasara will forgive me if she finds out I was against what she has with the boss. Out of envy and jealousy, I wished their relationship wouldn't work. I showed Frank and Lola, who happens to be Mr. Terry's ex wife, where she stays. But despite all I did, they grew stronger and stronger in love. Every day. And today, they're married. And I? <laughs> I'm still here. I just wish Natara would forgive me for everything I've put her through. Home with you for love. 